Okay, well, um, this month on the broadcast website, we are talking about Sunday meetings. And there's a whole blog on the website, which is the broadcastnetwork.org, about the what, why, and when of going to Sunday meetings. Like, what, uh, what sort of skills do you need? What sort of team do you need? What sort of venue should you look at? All of that sort of thing. It's worth having a read of that. Some great stuff on there. Uh, my personal preference, and this is, this is me, just Tim Simmons. Uh, this is what I like to do when we plant. We've done a couple of plants now, is to get to a Sunday meeting as quick as we can. Can, get to public meetings uh, out of the home in a venue as soon as we can and I found for me that gives me something to invite people to something to push something to promote I find the way that we do them they're very outward looking uh, and great engines for building community and in those early years that that's or early months really that's just really important uh, and so uh, it just doesn't suit me to be in the front room uh, and to do it that way I much prefer public venue uh, and it to be open for anyone uh, and so we've started pretty early in some of our plants I mean we've started on Sundays with uh, actually six or seven people and I'm not gonna lie that's pretty hard work uh, but once you've done six or seven people when you know five more turn up feels like a revival is brilliant uh, and so really we picture I think 15 to 20 most of our sites will go to a Sunday meeting uh, actually we're planning the city centre in March no February sorry and at the moment we've got 10 we're hoping we'll have 15 to 20 by the time we go to a Sunday uh, and when you do a Sunday uh, the kind of common thing with church plants, and I've done this myself, is you want everything to be brilliant. I mean, part of the reason you start a church is because you think we can make a brilliant Sunday gathering. This will be ace, OK? Uh, and nobody wants to say that, but you do. You think oh, this is going to be brilliant. We'll have Tim Keller preaching. We'll have uh, Matt Redman leading worship. Delia Smith on the welcome. CBeebies will do the kids work. It will be incredible. The painful reality is there's just no chance of that whatsoever. <clears throat> you can only do a few things very well well when you're planting you just can't do everything else because usually it's a limited group of people involved you're limited by skills that they have and you're limited by the time that you have if you're a planter there's a chance you're bivocational and, and most of your time isn't given over to church work or or even you're you're just doing it at the weekends you've got a full-time job in the week and family and all that sort of stuff uh, and so I found giving lots of time to preach prep just is not a realistic thing and it's not a good use of time either uh, in those early days and by the time we hit our second church plant we realized that the most important thing that we could do the thing we needed to be best at and perhaps the thing we could be better at everybody else then was the welcome and the follow-up in the immediate week when people turn up so it's welcome and follow-up and we found in the early days to really gather any sort of momentum and you need momentum that growing momentum of a few visitors and people bringing their friends and that's Christians and non-Christians and in those early days of Sundays we get both um, that actually the most important thing we do is the first interaction when people walk through the door the door if we are friendly if we are generous that is the first thing that's what they'll remember about us and that's so important uh, and then how we make contact with them in the in the days and weeks after that are really important as well in terms of seeing if they want to come back in now not everybody does but actually it's an important thing to do uh, and if a visitor turns up at our churches when we're at that small stage uh, and they're looking for great preaching and the big band worship time and well-funded kids work, if they're looking for that, we're never going to get them. That we just, we're just we not very good at any of those things. And you can't be when you're that small. But we know that we can do community really, really well. So one of our sites, Withington, uh, those guys there have that's done a fantastic job at creating a very meaningful community. So people come along and before they realise it, they've become friends with numbers of people at that church. Uh, and they perhaps don't quite realise that they have joined the church. They still think they're looking, but actually they become great friends with people. And it's a wonderful thing. So for us Sunday meetings, what do we major on? What is the most important thing that we can do in those early days? Is it the preaching? I don't think it is. Is it the worship? I don't think it is. I think it is welcome and follow up. OK, so if you want to disagree with me, then that's fine. You can write comments. Please be friendly uh, underneath. Thanks very much.